on the big screen and catch up on right here in Metro Detroit. And here now with some of the must-see movies this weekend and more is Tom Santilli, film, film critic and executive producer of Movie Show Plus. Good morning, Tom. Good to see you again. Hey, Kevin. How you doing, man? Good to be here. Great, great. So, uh, so we're talking about the film festival. Um, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings has dominated the box office and has proven that yeah. people are they're still clamoring to go see movies in a movie theater. Is there anything coming out anytime soon that might look to dethrone the Marvel movie? Yeah, so uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings has been dominating the box office now for uh, going on, uh, it's going on its fourth weekend. Uh, it's made nearly 200 million uh, domestically. And it is basically uh, given movie theater uh, and movie studios the confidence to continue to release movies uh, in theaters. Uh, but the big movie that's coming out this weekend is is expected to dethrone Shang-Chi, and that is the musical uh, Dear Evan Hansen, which was a big Broadway hit. It won some Tonys. Uh, it stars Ben Platt. Even though he's 27 years old, he, he's reprising his role as a high schooler in this film. Uh, and uh, that's the big movie coming out this weekend. On the horizon, though, next weekend, I'm super excited to talk about uh, The Many Saints of Newark, which is, if you're a fan of The Sopranos, this is a prequel to the HBO series The Sopranos. Uh, it stars Michael Gandolfini, uh, James Gandolfini's uh, real-life son, as young Tony Soprano. That comes out on uh, in theaters and on HBO Max on October 1st. And then, of course, October 8th, we got coming up the James Bond movie, No Time to Die. It's finally coming out after being delayed nearly about two years from its initial release date. Uh, so Shang-Chi, uh, it's kind of in its last legs here. So if you haven't seen it yet in the theater and want to, get out and see it in the next week or so. I, I was just going to say, I was like, well, it's been a year or something. No, it had, I guess almost two years. That film's been delayed, uh, the new Bond film coming out. So I know people yeah, are going to Excited yeah, they, they've the actually had to change some of the in, uh, you know, some of the product placement and stuff in the movie. They've had to update it because it's <laughs> no longer relevant from when they first came out. So <laughs> crazy, crazy. Well, there's also the local film festival still in progress going on this weekend. Can you tell us about the Free Film Festival? Yeah, so the Free Film Festival, it's a documentary film festival. Uh, free, uh, the Free Press, Detroit Free Press, uh, puts it on. Uh, there are in-person screenings and virtual screenings. Uh, it, it still is going on. It started uh, earlier this week. It goes through the weekend, uh, through Sunday. Uh, you can watch films online or attend them in person. There's a lot of cool films, including a documentary about the Bablo boats that I thought was really good. Uh, and, and I think it, you know, it's kind of nostalgic for those of us who grew up uh, going to Bablo as, as children. And I definitely uh, tell people, check that out. You can find out more info on the Freep Film Festival at freepfilmfestival.com. And that's great, too, because you can actually stream it from home. And I think you have like a 48-hour yeah. window where you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, exactly. We know that all of uh, last week you were also busy covering the Toronto uh, Film Festival. What were your top films from TIFF? Yeah, so uh, one of my top films was uh, a movie called The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which was... Uh, it's directed by Michael Showalter, but stars Jessica Chastain uh, unrecognizably as Tammy Faye Baker. Uh, there is another film that is an unbelievable documentary. It's an animated documentary, if you can believe that, called Flea. Those were my two top films. Uh, I didn't get to see some of the big films like Dune or Spencer, which is the Kristen Stewart movie uh, where she plays Princess Diana. But uh, on our new episode of Movie Show Plus, uh, we have a new episode that comes out this Sunday at 4 30 on sunday and it's all about tiff uh and, and my i'm going to go more in depth in some of my uh some of my favorite films and some of the things to look out for uh at the movie theaters coming down the pike and you can find out more about that at movieshowplus.com well hey tom i really appreciate the time and the information and reminding all of us that you know what there are a ton of really good movies that uh, that are coming out are already at now that we, we got to go see so uh thanks That's for right. all the information and, and good luck with your upcoming episodes thank you support your local movie theaters all right, we'll see you soon, Tom. All right. Well, we're looking at... Uh